Hello and good evening. I'm Cheryl D'Souza and you're watching Goa 365. First, the headlines. Police crack scarlet rape and murder case. Charge Placido Carvalho under both sections. PSI Nerlan Albuquer was issued a suspension by the police department. All the Congress legislators, conspicuous by their absence at the swearing-in ceremony of the MGP MLA, Pandurang Matkaikar, promises to hit back at the appropriate time. Now for our top stories. The Anjuna police have arrested and charged Placido Carvalho with the rape and murder of the 15-year-old British tourist Scarlett, who was found dead near Louis Shack on the 18th of February. The police claim that the victim died due to drug overdose and repeated sexual assault. Placido's anticipatory bail application was rejected by the North Goa Sessions Court yesterday for want of jurisdiction as the police invoked the Children's Act. The police, upon arresting the accused, conducted a search of his house. Advocate Peter Jose de Souza, representing Placido, said that the act of the police is totally illegal as no search warrant was produced by the police and that within 10 minutes the police drew some sketches and left. However, SP Bosco George, who is closely monitoring the investigations, denied the allegation. Not willing to speak on camera, he denied rumours of Placido making a confessional statement to the police that he had supplied drugs to the victim. It is in this aspect that the defence advocates that the police, under the guise of a house search, might plant drugs in his house. Meanwhile, the mother of the victim, Fiona McKeown, has dashed a letter to the Prime Minister's office appealing that the case be transferred to the CBI for investigation. In her letter to the Prime Minister, Fiona is stated to have said that she has also lost faith in the Chief Minister as after the second autopsy, which also indicated that Scarlett died of drowning, the CM tried to blame her for her neglected attitude of leaving a minor in the state all by herself and proceeding to a neighbouring state. Meanwhile, police sources have revealed that the victim was under the influence of drugs and alcohol. The police have also sent out lookout notices for British tourist Michael Mannion, known as Masala, to record his statement of what he saw or the reasons for his argument with the accused Samson, in whose house he used to live. Michael is said to have fled the state a few days after the murder. Initiating action against the erring officers for dereliction of duty, PSI Nerlan Albuquerque was issued a suspension by the police department. We are heading in for a short break. Stay with us. <laughs> 